the bite force of a panda at the canine tips is almost similar to a lion's. Imagine what damages those jaws can do to your bones. Selamat pagi everyone! Today, we will talk about one of the most popular wild animals in the world, the giant panda, or more commonly known as just the panda. This animal is so popular, you have other animals named after it, like the red panda and the panda ant. This animal is so popular, it is difficult nowadays to find someone who does not know what a panda is. And thanks to the media, a lot of people have this idea that pandas are this cute and harmless animal. They are cute, but are they really harmless? Let's turn to the science. In this video, we will look at three things. One, the bite force. Two, the size and the weight. And three, the aggression of a panda. We will start off with the bite force. To simplify this video, we will only take the average bite force at the canine tips. The average bite force of a panda is 1,298.9 newtons. That is crazy strong. To put it into perspective, the red fox has a bite force of 144 newtons. The American black bear has a bite force of 744.3 newtons. And the lion has a bite force of 1,300. And 14.7 newtons. The bite force of a panda at the canine tips is almost similar to a lion's. Imagine what damages those jaws can do to your bones. Next, let's talk about size and weight. Fun fact, contrary to popular belief, the panda is actually not the smallest bear in the world. The smallest bear in the world is actually the sun bear, which deserves a video on its own. The average height of a panda is roughly 1.2 to 1.5 meters and weighs roughly 100 to 150 kilograms. For comparison, Homo sapiens has an average height of 1.7 meters and average weight of 62 kilograms. So the average height of a panda is not greater than a Homo sapiens, but they are a lot heavier than us. Lastly, what about aggression? Fortunately, pandas attacking Homo sapiens are quite rare but they do happen, and the damages can be quite horrific. Remember, bite force similar to a lion. There are a few cases where a few homo sapiens were very badly injured by captive pandas. And yes, I censored out the photo because YouTube. However, I will leave a link to this paper in the description below if you are interested in learning more about these attacks. In conclusion, Pandas attacking Homo sapiens are quite rare. But if they do decide to attack, the damages can be quite bad. So next time when you see a panda, remember, it may be cute, but it can definitely rip your flesh from your bones. And that's it for this video. Please don't forget to like this video if you find it educational and let me know what you think of the new microphone. Personally, I love it. It makes my voice sound clearer and warmer. And that's all. I will see you all in the next video. Selamat tinggal.